their home. The fundamental premise of the DREAM Act is that we should not punish children for their parents' actions. This is not the American way. Instead, the DREAM Act says to these students, America will always give you a chance. And I, me, I say to their parents, thank you for bringing these dreamers to America. We're in your debt for the courage it took for you to take the risk physically, politically, in every way. Uh, to when she took the House floor on Wednesday for a filibuster-style speech, House Majority Leader Nancy Pelosi thanked illegal aliens for having the courage to bring their children illegally into the United States. During Pelosi's remarks, she portrayed the parents of dreamers as victims who have had to endure much risk to bring their families illegally into the country. Quote, I say to their parents, thank you for bringing these dreamers to America. We're in your debt for the courage it took for you to take that risk physically, politically, in every way to do so, Pelosi said. The Democrats, who are threatening to shut down the government again if Republicans don't give in to their demands on immigration, fail to solve America's immigration problems with legislation with Pelosi, was Speaker of the House, and the Democrats controlled both chambers of Congress as well as the White House from 2009 to 2011. Meaning, they don't care about solving the immigration problem. And why would they want to solve it for? Their immigration, continuing this immigration problem, gives them a wedge issue in whence they can get people to vote for them for. They can say, hey, we're not those evil racist Republicans who don't want to let in millions of you and your family members, so vote for us instead. So why would they want to fix the immigration problem? And as far as I'm concerned, I think they want to make it worse. They want America's immigration problem to be even worse. Because again, they get a wedge issue that they can morally grandstand on. So it truly makes sense why they wouldn't want to fix America's immigration problem. Now we all know who Nancy Pelosi is. We all know that she's a really old dumb bitch that likes to morally grandstand and is the poster girl of literal old hag. Obviously, Nancy Pelosi is a Democrat. Obviously, she is one of the Democrats who have worked with Trump and who have been called sellouts for working with Trump by the other Democrats and progressives around the country. But this is my issue. My issue with Nancy Pelosi is that she's a Democrat and she's part of the establishment. She's part of the swamp. And she goes out of her way to thank illegal immigrants for coming here illegally, essentially breaking America's laws, and she's thanking them for this. Thank you for breaking the law, essentially. Thank you for not obeying our immigration laws. What does that say to you about the Democratic Party? What does that say to you about their ability to govern properly? The Democrats are the party of the big banks, the big corporations, big money. They are bought and sold for machine politicians. They do not care about making America great again. They don't care about Americans. The only thing they want is to stay in power. And the only way they get to stay in power is if they continue down this not fixing the American immigration problem because it keeps them in power. If we as Americans truly have this togetherness, truly put race behind us, truly put sexual orientation behind us, we put all that behind us. We're just Americans. We might have different views, but we're Americans at the end of the day. The Democrats can't have that. The Democrats don't want that because they like putting people in boxes. They like putting people in the black people box, the white people box, the gay people box, the women box, the immigrant box, this, this box, that box. They like to separate us into these categories. There they can feed them propaganda to keep them fighting each other, to keep their wedge issues strong and alive. That is why the Democrats won't do anything and can't do anything, can't truly fix the immigration problem because they don't want to. They want to keep it going. They want to keep the chaos going. They don't want to fix it. They don't want Trump to fix it. They don't want people being deported. They don't want a border wall built 
because it gives them a wedge issue where they can grandstand on. Illegal immigration brings in new voters for the Democratic Party, meaning new people that'll vote them in to power. That is why they don't want to do anything about it. And it should be common sense at this point, but for most Americans, they're bought into the propaganda. They don't see the Democrats for what they are. They still believe that the Democrats are the hippie, get along, you know, fuck the establishment party. But in reality, the Democrats are the same thing that they were fighting against back in the 2000s. The moralists, the censorship-happy authoritarians, that is what the Democrats are now. The Democrats are the party of the illegal immigrants. The Democrats are not the party for the American people, and that is why they're losing support. And that's it for this video. Peace out, guys.